You know, sometimes as a world-class artist, you have to really just resign yourself to a higher power and grab a hold of the divine and channel that energy into some form of expression. And for me, that was today in Photoshop. I logged in, was tinkering around with the mouse. Next thing I know, I'm blacked out. And an hour later, when I regained my lucidity, I saw this on the screen in front of me. And to me, there is no greater sign that, you know what, Leon, it's probably time to make a video about KSI and Logan Paul. This is actually going down. What is good, Toma? It's your boy, Leon Lush. Thank you so much for joining me here for a quick video today. Uh, and you're right, I, I, I did call you Toma instead of Tom. We had a little fun the last two videos shortening Tomato Mafia to Tom. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. But since that time, I received in the mail a little cease and desist letter from Danny Gonzalez's lawyer. Apparently, he has some sort of provisional patent on naming your viewership after mundane first names like Greg. What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny. What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Danny Gonzalez does not have lawyers, obviously. I just don't want him to feel like I'm ripping, ripping his thing off, you know what I mean? And Leon Lush isn't one to imitate. I create. So we had fun. I called you Tom for two videos. So all you Toms out there, I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Because now you're something else! You better get fucking used to it. Oh, man. Outrage comedy is great, isn't it? <laughs> uh, jump. So what can actually be said about the KSI vs. Logan Paul feud? I'll tell you what. Nothing. Fuck, get out of the fuck out of here. It's just a hype machine built to generate hundreds of millions of views over the course of the next several months until the fight inevitably takes place sometime in August, I think. But it provides an incredible opportunity for small to middle-sized YouTubers to take 15 seconds of information and stretch that into a 10-minute video to make a few bucks. Am I right? <laughs> My fragile heart. I just does not have the fortitude to deal with mean-spirited comments about video length. Anyways, if Logan Paul and KSI both died of measles tomorrow, I wouldn't lose a wink of sleep over it. So I can't in good faith give you an opinion on the matter? <laughs> so let's look to the internet to see if we can form an opinion by following along with the conversation. Alright, let's start by going to the Twitter search and we're going to search the keywords KSI Logan Paul and do it from, you know, maybe just the last 30 days. We don't want to go too deep. We just want to keep it somewhat relevant. <laughs> That's just uh, the way you make me feel. That's just the way you make Who will win? Alfie asks. Retweet for KSI, like for Logan Paul. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is actually an incredible display of Twitter mastery in this single tweet because he's leaving his audience no choice but to either like or retweet. So either way, he's getting the social cue, right? He's getting that interaction. So what he's doing right now is maximizing his chance at Twitter impressions. Just a fucking veteran move. Yeah, I'm just gonna respond with your mom is going to win. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a 32-year-old man with a kid on the way. Think about that for a minute. Yo, on a real level, KSI doesn't stand a chance. Logan is a beast and has a savage work ethic. Trust me, if Logan Paul wants to win this fight, he's gonna fucking win this fight. Hashtag KSI vs. Logan at Logan Paul at KSI or Dijel Dijel bait. <laughs> and Logan Paul Avatar confirmed. You know, that's all well and good, but what this OP probably doesn't know is that Logan Paul wants to shit his pants in church. So you're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> My friend Eight Thoughts likes KSI and all, but Logan Paul should destroy him. Logan is a legit athlete. <laughs> well, that's true. However, KSI is black. Casual. Twitter, racism, sing it with me now, casual. I'm as confused as ever. Is KSI fighting Logan Paul or nah? Listen, Toby, watch the fucking videos. There's about 900 of them. Why the fuck did I just get a Twitch notification? Fuck. As I was saying, Toby, fucking Toby, Watch the 900 videos that they've made about each other reacting to that video, reacting to that person's reaction, and then reacting to the reaction of the reaction, and then reacting to their friend's reaction, reacting to them calling him out, calling him bluff, and reacting to that reaction. Watch those videos, and you'll realize that yes, they are fighting fucking Toby. Yes, it looks like I am fighting KSI. 
Well, searching through these Twitter search results, this is the uh, sixth time Keemstar has appeared here. He just has his little paws in everything, doesn't he? <laughs> he's, he's so cute. Who ready for KSI vs. Logan Paul? This motherfucker right here. Anyways, fuck Twitter. Let's head over to YouTube and see what's popping. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to search KSI versus Logan Paul, and I'm sure there's probably no video results to this. 515,000. Not bad for something that just started happening only a few weeks ago. You see, the key here is to just scroll down way past all the top results, because the first 50 or 60 results is just all the big YouTubers jerking each other off and saying the same shit over and over again. You gotta dig deep to find the real gems. Logan Paul and KSI are fighting. Yeah? So? I, I thought female boxing was dead already. <laughs> Does anyone even watch female boxing anymore? I thought, I mean, at least female MMA is exciting. Female boxing? Who the fuck watches that anymore? <laughs> Logan Paul vs. KSI confirmed. 101 views. Click. Okay. 30 seconds, hasn't said a word, just chewing. This is, the, this is fucking YouTube. This is how you YouTube. Still waiting for the first word. 40 seconds. Oh, <laughs> thank you. There you go. Here you go. Leave a comment down below saying who you think would win. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, I mean, not Jake Paul. Logan Paul. KSI. Listen, if you ask me to comment, I'm going to comment. I employ that same exact tactic in my videos. I'd be a little bit of a hypocrite if I didn't give you my two cents on whether it was going to be KSI or Logan Paul here. Uh, I think KSI and Logan Paul will come to a draw in the 23rd round. Also, KSI has rubella. <laughs> oh! Don't know what rubella is? Look that shit up. Yes, yeah, so go ahead. Smack me up with the subscription. Oh, oh censored, man. I'm using that. I am I am using that. Sorry, censor. That's that is now my that is now my ask. So go ahead. Smack me up with the subscription. Well, that's gonna do it. Listen, we have educated ourselves, we have immersed ourselves in the conversation so that we now have the confidence to walk over to the water bubbler at your middle school and feel good that you can carry on a conversation about this Logan Paul versus KSI fight without feeling like an idiot not knowing the facts, right? But if you'll allow me to turn the sarcasm meter off for a second, I actually kind of like this whole boxing thing going on on YouTube right now. Yeah, it's like 2018's version of 2017's diss tracks, but I feel like it legitimizes YouTube more than these diss tracks did, right? I mean, we're talking about massive YouTubers selling out stadiums. I mean, I think the Joe Weller KSI fight was from what I understand, the biggest white collar fight in the United Kingdom's history, which is huge, right? And this fucking KSI versus Logan Paul fight is going to draw a massive crowd. I mean, just a huge, throbbing, veiny crowd. It's going to be uh, pretty incredible. I don't know why Logan wants to do it in Dubai. I'm also going to suggest KSI, listen closely to this, a neutral place, maybe like Dubai. Absolutely my favorite city. You think parents are going to fly their kids to Dubai to watch a couple of kids slap each other with gloves for a couple of minutes? I don't know, man. It's maybe a stretch, but he's probably got as many fans in Dubai as he does in the United States, so it's going to fucking sell out regardless. He could have it in fucking Zimbabwe and probably sell out a 500,000 person stadium. These motherfucking online influencers, I'll tell you what, they really, they really command an audience, don't they? Well, since we're on the topic, I guess I'll give you a prediction, okay? Brass tacks, if this fight goes down in August, I think Logan Paul's gonna win. No intricate reasoning behind it, Logan's just a bigger dude, he's got a longer reach, and I think he's more of an athlete than JJ, it's as simple as that. I gotta be honest, aside from this whole hype machine and the hundred million fucking videos that are being made about this and the reactions to the reactions to the reactions to the reactions, which can drive anyone a little bit mad, I'm secret I'm secretly kinda like excited about this. This fight's this fight's pretty huge, man. If these two fucking go at each other, this is gonna be millions of people worldwide tuning in to watch this thing on live stream, you know, thousands and thousands edit live. This is like a little taste of the possible future 
of sports in some capacity as we fucking transition as a society away from pay-per-view and paid television and paid programming and more into online media. This is a little taste of that. I mean, you saw the Joe Weller KSI fight. These guys fucking can pack the house. And I mean, Logan Paul, we all know, in spite of his shortcomings, has quite a bit of leverage over the youth of our world. And that is just the reality we live in. So thanks for watching, guys. If you could do me a favor and fucking shotgun a Bud Light, then take your socks off, stuff them down your throat, rip off your fucking pants and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Oh, that would feel good. And leave a comment down below. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah.